Welcome, friends. Hola. Back with my brothers once again for the first time. Yeah. In a while. In a while. And we bring to you, both in song and in bottle, black velvet mm -hmm. blended Canadian whiskey. You know how lucky you are that I was just able to restrain myself from the worst karaoke you've ever heard. Yeah. 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 Such a great song for such a. It may have been better than once in the bottle. It might be better than once in the bottle. John and I were talking on the way over that my, my bottle of food has been really good. Our last couple have been uh, surprisingly good for, for absolute dusty, bottom of the shelf bargain bottles. By the way, they saved those bottles from when I wasn't available. So, <laughs> because we loved them so much. That's so right. now we get this. This. Picked up at our local total line, eight ninety nine, mm. and it is a proper eighty proof, forty percent alcohol by volume Canadian whiskey, mm. bottled under the supervision of the Canadian government. <laughs> <laughs> Which if leads it, me to feel is probably bottled by people incarcerated, men in by black, black, men in Canadian black, watching over the blending of this. I'm we got an age statement: age for three years. Okay, all so, right, that's legit. It's got it's got bourbon aging. It ain't scotch aging, but we got bur bourbon style aging. And if my old eyes can read this, after perfecting this recipe and maturing the distinct blend in oak barrels, master distiller Jack Napier. Oh, yeah, yeah. isn't that a spy? I, it does seem familiar. To the ghouls. Yeah. Drew a glass, reveling in the taste. He pronounced it black velvet, epitomizing the smoothest blended Canadian whiskeys. Okay. Jack. <laughs> Maybe that's a little Jack Jack that go. Dying words. Black. Oh, black. it's one of the. Uh, Jack Napier. The Joker. It's the Joker. <laughs> we're we're going to die. Because with Smilex, <laughs> you get a grand. If you bring in the Joker, you're going to die. Oh, I, knew I, I, I knew I heard that name before. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, I think we just got our DC card in both. Uh, so, um, or not knowing that one? All right, friends. Oh, God. Now, this is not um, that. No. This is my um, life raft, if you will. We've gone and done a foray or two in Canadians before. The one that comes to mind most was 40 Creek, which, by the way, I've been trying to find because I wanted a Canadian on my bar. I can't find it. Well, th I've been trying to find the reserve, the yeah. reserve, yeah. and I can't. No, no, I can't find it. Even at Total Wine's app, they only sell the 1.5 liter bottle of, 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 yeah, of the lowest. Yep. The lowest tier. Yeah, of the lowest tier. I guess they saw our glorious review of it, and they have decided you Americans don't deserve this. So I don't know how. I, I do a lousy Canadian accent. I can't. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. I dove right in there. It's not that bad. I, I just got a, a strong whiff of ethanol. I got I ethanol, but I got a little bit of wood too. Just a little. Yeah, there's some, oh, there's definitely some wood in there. A there. smell of wood. I was about to say, they gave you a little I wood. I didn't get wood. I got a smell <laughs> of wood. You have wood for sheep? Okay. I don't know, I'm getting less wood and more sweet. Yes, there's a lot, a lot of wood in that. Off. And it's not a typical maple sweet. It's a but you just got honey sweet. Yeah. yeah. Serrano well, Pronto. Well, it's it's, it's unassuming. It's not not offensive other than I dove in and, and got too much. Which is what we said about Malort. You know, at least the worst thing he said is if you drink it and it's bad, at least they'll apologize for it. Mm. It's Canadian. Yeah. We're sorry, dude. I can't. I can't. I, can't I gotta say, the first sip of that for a whiskey, dude. it doesn't taste bad, but it's a bit watery. It's $9. Touché. It's not nine dollars. It, we didn't. First of all, my first response was not to use it for paint thinner. No, 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 no. I didn't win. Yay! Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Re Call us away. Reevaluate that. You know what? It really needs to need some ice and, and, and some coke or ginger ale. Yeah, this is the. This will be good. Oh. There okay, is one second. <laughs> all right. Little ice, little uh, Canadian dry. Canada dry. Canada dry. Canadian. It's Canadian. It's, it's Canadian. It's an apropos. 
Right. Vanilla bean bowl. You have to have some poutine after this. That's good. That's good. Nine dollars. That's good. That's good. I guess that shows why this is kind of a quintessential bar brand whiskey because, yeah, you can just sit down and say, "Give me a whiskey ginger ale for nine dollars. Get drunk for cheap." Get drunk for cheap. Yeah, and, for you know, cheap. that's the whole point of this project, right? Is to yeah. find the $9 well, bottle that you can... Now, I will say I don't like this as much as that really cheap tequila we had last time. I will agree with that. And, 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 and that may have been filtered by the fact that tequila can go so wrong. I can remember doing shots of Cuervo and just, it yeah, was a hatred on you're also, you're also comparing apples to yeah. True, true. This is not, this isn't tequila. This but is in, in this same neighborhood, American Pride. Mm, this is much better than American Pride. Much better. Yeah. Um, I mean, they, they don't even touch stuff like uh, Kentucky Gentleman. Because, yeah. man, I had French Kiss a chainsaw before I drank any more of that. There's nothing amazing about that. No, but, but there's, there's nothing, nothing bad. But, but the key to is that $9 is nothing offensive. Exactly. Nothing and you know what? That That is the word cloud primary word that pops into mind, inoffensive. It's inoffensive. It's got some sweetness. It's got a little bit of barrel to it. Not too much of either. For 9 bucks, You get what you pay for. Um, it, it's, yeah. It's a sipper fantastic mixer. Blows Seagram's out of the water. Oh, that Seagram's? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Seagram's 7, because that's another really popular bottle, also in close to the same price range. It might have been a buck or two cheaper. No, the Seagram's I thought was more. Yeah. Well, am, I, am I ashamed? Because yeah, you're paying for the name. You're paying for the Seagram's name. Am I ashamed of the fact that I used to wear a members only jacket in high school? No, I am not. Am I ashamed I went through a hardcore Seagram's 7 and 7 phase? Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. When I was old enough to go to bars, that would be the. Cocktail I wear, seven yeah. and seven. Seven and seven. And I remember them being good at the time, but is there a cocktail more eighties than seven and seven? I don't think so. Although technically. Maybe pina colada because that's a high damn song. Not nah. a cocktail. Oh well, just okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. But yeah, back well, to the black velvet. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. That's... This is another one. Not uh, Far from a drain pour, I'll tuck this away on the bottom of my shelf and when I have company over, they want a, a cocktail. That would be a good one to pour into one of those jars. Yes. Yes. Should we do a like an unpaid advertisement for those jars? Sure. Well, Possibly we should. We're so about to receive no money for the thing you're about to see. Yeah. It's no new sponsors. Place. This is a non-monetized yeah. channel. We don't... Not that many people see us anyway. But yeah, we don't get. We do this because we love each other and we like doing this stuff. Um, local company. Are they local? I think they're a local company. It's called Camp Craft Cocktails. Um, I, I could, I could swear they're. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about where they're from. I'll look up and we'll maybe get a, give a link in our description. Uh, but they come out. with all sorts of dried. They come in a, a gazillion varieties: dried fruits, dried. Uh, with sugars, bitters, whatever you're mm -hmm. making. Uh, so, for example, John is actually drinking one of the old fashions. It has orange and everything, and bitters and everything in there. And I just poured a cheap bottle like this into it, and that's it's it's, it's a cocktail in a jar. Cocktail. cocktail in a jar. It's a mason jar with all the ingredients. Just add your own booze. This would be this would be a great yeah. one of those to put yeah. into one of these. Yeah, I agree. And I. I Tasted the old fashioned before and was duly impressed. Now it, it's a slight riff on an old fashioned. It's not like what I would make typically from my own home bar, um, but complex, flavorful, and just well worth the time. Just, yeah. just, the there's color. no mixing. You just yeah. pour it into a glass. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's an old fashioned. Yeah, it's so, a glorious. Perfect use. Perfect use. I mean, like an, an inexpensive and inoffensive bottle. Pour it into something like that, and uh, brother, you're ready for company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, my friends. Well, again, my bottle of food has uh, it's been bulletproof. Been strong. Like, oh. Been strong. And but you know, you got just yourself. three more contestants today. So we ain't out of the woods yet. Wish us luck. We who are about to die, we salute you.